reading give this answer to the call. That's the voice to you now calling. Will you heed the earnest word? On the ear is gently calling. Give this answer to your Lord. Many souls in sins are dying. Has to help them while you may. But the time is sweetly flying. Will you now to Jesus say, I'm ready for service for thee, dear Lord. Here am I, send me. I'm willing to be what you do have me to be. I'll go to where you want me to go. I'm ready for service for thee, dear Lord. Here am I, send me. Though the pathway seems dark, for thee I do or die. I'm ready for service, Lord.
Today we are going to continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. Chapter 23 When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee, and put a knife to thy throat if thou be a man given to appetite. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings, they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. 
For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. The morsel which thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up, and lose thy sweet words. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Remove not the old landmark, and enter not into the fields of the fatherless, for their Redeemer is mighty, he shall plead their cause with thee. Apply thine heart unto instruction, and thine ears to the words of knowledge. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with the rod, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. Yea, my reins shall rejoice when thy lips speak right things. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among wine-bibbers, among riotous eaters of flesh, for the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Buy the truth, and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begetteth a wise child shall have joy of him. Thy father and thy mother shall be glad, and she that bear thee shall rejoice. My son, thine heart, and let thine eyes observe my ways. For a whore is a deep ditch, and the strange woman is a narrow pit. She also lieth in wait as for a prey, and increaseth the transgressors among men. Who hath woe? Who hath sorrow? Who hath contentions? Who hath babbling? Who hath wounds without cause? Who hath redness of eyes? They that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine. Look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth his color in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. At the last it biteth like a serpent, and stingeth like an adder. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Yea, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast. They have stricken me, shalt thou say, and I was not sick. They have beaten me, and I felt it not. When shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. Chapter 24 be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them, for their heart studieth destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Through wisdom is an house builded, and by understanding it is established, and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increaseth strength, for by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counsellors there is safety. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth not his mouth in the gate. He that deviseth to do evil shall be called a mischievous person. The thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abomination to men. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. If thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death, and those that are ready to be slain, if thou sayest, Behold, we knew it not, doth not he that pondereth the heart consider it? And he that keepeth thy soul, doth not he know it? And shall not he render to every man according to his works? My son, eat thou honey, because it is good, and the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Lay not wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Spoil not his resting place, for a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth, lest the Lord see it and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him.
Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious of the wicked, for there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. My son, fear thou the Lord and the King, and meddle not with them that are given to change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both? These things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. He that saith unto the wicked, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. But to them that rebuke him shall be delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. Every man shall kiss his lips that giveth the right answer. Prepare thy work without, and make it fit for thyself in the field, and afterwards build thine house. Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause, and deceive not with thy lips. Say not, I will do so to him as he hath done to me, I will render to the man according to his work. I went by the field of the slothful, and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding, and lo, it was all grown over with thorns, and nettles had covered the face thereof, and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instruction. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. See that things to be changed in your life. Touch and transform you. You will have a story to a testimony to give. There's no time. This particular day, you will never in your life in Jesus' name. Name of Jesus. We thank you tonight. We bless you tonight. We know you are here to bless your people. Good day. What a glorious day that you want to kick every yoke. You want to destroy the works of the devil. You want to get all your people free. I'm asking tonight manifest your power in an unprecedented manner in G name. I'm asking that tonight you save sinners. The power to live in righteousness and holiness. The power to live a transformed life. The power to live a gracious life. You will grant to everyone in Jesus' name the healing of tonight. Spectacular healing. The miracle of tonight. Spectacular miracle. Lord, I pray you confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, open the pages of your word unto us. Bring power, authority, upon our lives in jesus name we thank you because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray and everybody say that amen means that so it is so it will be so it is confirmed it will be like that in your life in jesus name Thank you, you can sit down. I want to talk to you of the possibility 
of a permanent miracle the possibility of a permanent miracle my miracle will be permanent see it for yourself my healing will be permanent say it for yourself my salvation will be permanent my joy the gladness I have in the Lord the mountains that have gone away the solution that I have the breakthrough that I have every sin of God will be permanent how did those people have the permanent miracle the permanent salvation the permanent healing the permanent deliverance how did they have that because that same possibility is coming upon your life the possibility of a permanent miracle number one come for your promised salvation it's available whosoever come to me I will in no wise cast out it's available come he will give you that salvation come for your promised salvation number two continue in your present healing how do you continue your present healing what brought the healing to you will keep the healing in you he sent his word and he healed them and he delivered them from all their destructions the healing came through the world the healing will continue through the world continue in your present healing number three you will conquer I said number three you will conquer I said number three you will conquer conquer with your permanent deliverance you conquer in your permanent deliverance you are coming I said you are coming I said you are coming number one come for your promised salvation you know God has salvation for you it's like a parcel it's sent from the headquarters in heaven and it is written salvation forgiveness peace of mind joy in the Lord victory over all the evil in the world and he puts your name there and I am like the postman that comes to you and said you have a parcel from the headquarters and I hope I will meet you at home because if you are not at home nobody will take your blessing I said nobody will take your blessing your promise salvation is coming to you tonight in Jesus name Matthew chapter 11 I'm reading from verse 28 Matthew 11 verse 28 come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest come unto me he wants you to come because before you come the rest cannot come to you the restoration cannot come to you the redemption cannot come to you the righteousness of Christ cannot come upon you the riches of the kingdom that is promised to you and is yours 
it cannot come until you come. That's why Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady, and I will give you rest. That rest is there tonight. It's coming. I said it's coming, but you must take that step that with all your heart, with all your mind, with the trust and the confidence and the faith in you, you say, Lord Jesus, I come. Lord Jesus, I come. Lord Jesus, you'll be my savior. It is as you come like that, that your salvation will come to you. What does that mean to come? Number one, come out. Come out. You see, you have to come out of darkness to get into the light. You have to come out of evil to, to get into his goodness. You have to get out of sin to get into the Savior. Number one, come out. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17. Wherefore, come out out from among them you have been in a gang before come out from among them you have been among the people nightclub is their second home come out from them from among them idol worship shine is their weekend uh, accommodation come out from among them so on Sunday they go to church in the morning and then in the evening they are ready not shine again the Lord is saying you want rest you want restoration you want redemption you want righteousness you want the riches of Christ you want salvation come out from among them he will forgive your sin he will change your life this is the day of salvation today is the day to make jesus your savior today is your day to make the lord your redeemer and to say yes lord i come yes lord i come number one come out he does not want you to perish with the unbelievers he does not want you to perish in sin that's why he says you must take the step and come and the first thing you do is that you come out it's a practical thing it's something that you do very definitely come one you come out two you come in if you if you come out of your house and you have been invited to come and partake of a feast the feast of the king of kings and the feast of the lord of lords yes you came out and then you stay in front of the door we we'll say come in now we we'll say uh uh i don't want to come in but i have come out are you going to the coming is not complete until you come in he brought you out that he may bring you in he called you out that he may call you in some people come to crusade and then they say we we'll say come out they say praise the lord i come praise the lord i come put your name on paper put my name there then they write their name how about your number put everything there tell right tell the pastor i come out i come out and then after now when i say this is the house of the lord this is the temple of the lord this is the kingdom of god where two or three ten or twenty 
200 or 300, 3,000 or 5,000, where they gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. Jesus is there where you'll be touched the word of God. A living church. A Bible-believing church. A straightforward church. A spiritual church. A saved church. A steadfast church. A church that stands by the word of God. You come out. Then you come in. If you don't come in, the coming out will almost be useless. The purpose of your coming out is so that you will come in. Deuteronomy chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 23. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 23. He brought us out from thence that he might bring us in. He brought us out for the purpose so that he might bring us in. We came out of Egypt that we might get into Canaan. We came out of evil that we may come into his goodness. We came out of darkness that we might come into the light. And so he says, Come. You come out. You come in. Because he said, And he brought us out that he might bring us in. He to give us the land which he swore unto our fathers. And that's what, the, that's what the Lord is telling you tonight. That the very first step you take, the very first step you take is that you come out. And then you come in. Look at Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. Chapter 4, verse 1. After this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, it was as it were a trumpet talking to me, which said, Come up hither. Come up hither. You come out. You come in so that you can come up. You are going to come up. You will not be tail, you will be head. You are going to come up. You will not be on the ground. You will be on the top. You are going to come up. You will be on the mountain top. You will be going higher and higher and higher in Jesus name. But you must take that first step. You come up. It's your blessing. You come up. It's your possession. You come up into the promise of God. You come up into the glory of God in your life. You come out. You come in. You come up. When do you do that? Because you can see, I will come. You want to suffer a little more. You want to be in the hand of the devil a little more. If there is any time to come. If there is any time to give your heart, your life, your mind, your whole personality unto God. It is now. 
If there's any time to say yes, I'm going to obey the Lord, he says, Come and I will give you rest, I'll give you life. It is now. Isaiah chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1. I am reading from verse 18. Already he said, Come out. He said, Come in. He said, Come up. Now he says, Come now. You cannot miss that. He says, This is the time. He says, This is the day. He says, This is the moment. You must take that step now. Come now. And let us reason together, says the Lord. Then he says, Though your sins be as scarlet, they'll be white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, I'll wash them as white as wool. He says then, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Number one, calm. Number two, continue. Continue. You see, people come to crusades. I was there. I was there. When you, call, when you came in 19 long, long ago, I was there. Uh, but did you continue? That's why we come back again and say, hey, Pastor, pray for me. This one is warning. This one is. Now, this one that you come, you will continue. I said this time, you will continue. That's what Jesus said. If you want to know true freedom, total freedom, entire freedom, complete freedom, permanent freedom, perpetual freedom, just going on and on. It says, you must continue. John chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 31. John chapter 8. And we're reading the words of Jesus from verse 31. They said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. These are people that already believed. They believed on the Lord. And Jesus said unto them, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. If ye continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And then he says, next verse, and you shall know the truth. While you continue, you are hearing the truth, you are learning the truth, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall make you free. Your freedom has started already. That freedom will be permanent. I said that freedom will be permanent. Freedom from sin. Freedom from sickness. Freedom from evil spirits. Freedom from Satan. If he continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And ye shall learn the truth. And ye shall take in the truth. And ye shall believe the truth. And ye shall abide in the truth. And ye shall obey the truth. And the truth will make you free. You are free. Where are you? You are free. I said you are free. What does it mean if you continue? Number one, you continue in the faith. You continue in the faith. You believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me remind you of a verse you know very well. For 
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever believes it's not whosoever believed whosoever will believe no whosoever believes 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 in him you have believed already you keep on believing you keep on trusting you keep on following that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life some people said I have believed but I'm not believing today anymore will I still have everlasting life whosoever believes in him will have everlasting life will not perish do you remember the words of Jesus go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he that believes it's not he that believed long long ago no more believing today he that believes and is baptized shall be saved as you continue to believe you continue in the faith you continue in faithfulness faithfulness what's faithfulness you see I am bringing something to you and you bring it that's faithfulness I love you I will come to you and visit you that's faithfulness when you do I give my life to Jesus my life is no more for Satan my life is no more for idol worship I am for Jesus I am for Jesus I am for Jesus if after that day you are still for Jesus if after that day idols come bye bye no I said bye bye already I'm not going back there again all those uh, magic uh, magician ma uh, magic uh, magical materials they bring them regalia uh, you say, no i've said no I, i'm for jesus now that's faithfulness and you abide and you remain and you dwell with christ and the promise you have made to christ bye bye to the world I come to Jesus. Bye bye to darkness. I've come to the light. Bye bye to evil. I've come to the goodness of the Lord. He is my savior. He will always be my savior. He is my shepherd. He will always be my shepherd. He is my redeemer. That heaven I am going there. If you stay, if you abide by that, you continue in faithfulness. You continue in the faith. You continue in faithfulness. You continue in fervency. Because Jesus said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold discouragement will come to some people they were running before they are now dragging their feet they no more fervent for the lord in the past i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord but today now house of god i think i will miss one today I was there last month and uh, the way I see the sky is cloudy it may rain I don't think I can go today you are no more hot nor cold you are lukewarm and he said because you are lukewarm I will spew you out of my mouth 
he wants the fervency to continue. He said, I said he wants the fervency to continue. The older you get, the, the more fervent and the higher you go. But some people, like they are like the people I read about in geography. They used to tell our teacher used to say, the higher you go, the cooler you become. Some people that have read the Bible before. I'm not a newcomer in that church, you know. I've been there before. And why are you so cold? Ah, didn't you hear? The higher you go, the cooler you become. That one is geography. That one is not spirituality. That one is not in the supernatural. That one is not in the book of records of God. When you come to God, the higher you go, the more fiery you become. The higher you go, the more gracious you become. The higher you go, the more fervent you become. That fervency will be in your life in Jesus' name. I want to hear that good amen I've always been hearing. You continue in faith. You continue in faithfulness. You continue in fervency. And when you pray, I said when you pray, I said when you when you pray, heaven will say yes to your prayer. When you pray, Satan will take the baton. He will run as fast as he can. He will run away from you. I said he will run away from you. Look at it. In James chapter 5. James chapter 5. I'm reading here from the last part of verse 16. The second part of verse 16. The effectual fervent, fervent, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The effectual fervent prayer of a child of God, of a man of God, of the righteous availeth much. I come. How many people are there? I come. Are you there? I said, are you there? You come out. You come in. You come up. You come now. I come. God will bless you. I said, God will bless you. Satan will not know the address of your new house. I come. I have come to Jesus. You will not find me in that old apartment, old house anymore where Satan used to beat the window, knock the window, knock everywhere. I have come out. I come in. I come up. I come now. I continue. I continue you will continue i said you will continue i said you will continue you will continue with jesus you will continue in your blessing you will continue in his grace your name has entered the book of life your name will continue there you will abide i said you will abide come Continue. Tell me number three. I said, tell me number three. I see come cross here tonight. I said, I see come cross here tonight. There are giants of faith in this land. The mighty, powerful men and women of God in this land. Do you know you will conquer? You will conquer all those magicians of Egypt. You will conquer all those Canaanites. You will conquer the wall of Jericho. I said you will conquer your Goliath. 
I said you'll conquer your enemies. You will conquer. It's on the head of the devil, on the head of the evil spirits, on the head of your problem. You will walk to glory. Conquer. I said conquer. When you go out of here tonight, I release you to go and conquer. All those things that tormented you, terrified you, intimidated you in the dream, go back home. Sleep on that same bed. Anything that comes before you say G, they won't allow you to finish that Jesus, you conquer them. The people that have, I heard you went to another church, uh huh. Yes, and in the past, you say, Hey, Mama, hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I went, but I'll not go again. You are afraid of them. Then you go back home, you are crying and weeping. Why is it that I told this woman I'll not go again? Now, when you go back from this night. There is a mark of on your forehead. You cannot see it. That woman will see it. Those people will see it. Once you are coming like this, coming like this, they look at you, they will drop their head. They cannot look at your face again. There is fire coming out of your eyes. Because you will conquer them in Jesus' name. <laughs> Before, when they said, You will not worship idol, you hear the music, you will not bow down. In the past, you used to say, Emma be no. I won't do it again. Now they will get angry. When they get angry, you will look at the face of Nebuchadnezzar. As fire is coming out. As he's getting angry. In the past, you will almost say the land should open. When you see the face of Nebuchadnezzar, you say the land should open and you get inside. You stand like this. Look up. You put your shares outside. You will not look down. I think they say you stand at a kimbo. And then when you do that, he will be more angry. He will say, if I heat the furnace and I throw you inside, I will give you what you will serve for the rest of your life. You say, Mama, go and make that fire. If you want to burn in the fire, Mama, go ahead. I went somewhere. I got something. If I apply that thing on you, if I they taught me how to conquer you, you don't did I look at you your face like this before? If you see me now looking at you and saying, Don't you know that I got something? If you try, Mama, you want to die before your time. She will kneel down before you. You will lay your hands on her and cast out that sin from her. You are the victors from now on. You are the conquerors from now on. They will not drive you away from your seat of power and authority. Nebuchadnezzar did not get the word. He said, he that furnished seven times sorter. And so they did. Then he commanded some people. He said, bind them all. If you want to die before your time, bind them. 
If you want the furnace of Nebuchadnezzar, it wasn't meant for you. It was meant for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But if you want to die before your time, carry them and throw them inside. Nebuchadnezzar, if you want to throw them, do it yourself. I will not answer that kind of a message. I will not do the thing that will kill me. I'm not ready yet. Please do it yourself. And so, those who carry them and threw them into the fire, the fire punched them to death. You have got the message. Anybody that tries to touch your life and say they are carrying you, they say somebody made fire. Uh -uh. When you were saved, God sealed up the gate of hell fire for you and said, You, your name is no more there, your portion is no more there, you are no more there. Fire in the future, fire at the present, no more. And then they saw, they, they threw them inside. About, did they die? Did they burn? As they came inside there. It was the property of Nebuchadnezzar with which they were bound, those seemed burnt up completely. Then they stood up. You will stand up. Then they were walking. It says, The river will not drown you, the fire will not burn you. And they were walking in that fire. From today, if you come, from today, if you will continue, you will conquer. And then, as you were walking in that fire, Nebuchadnezzar said, Let me go and look at their ashes. Ah, we don't see the ashes of those people, they are conquerors. Then he peeped inside. He said, What do I see? He said, come and help me. Am I having double vision? That's Shadrach. That's Meshach. That's Abednego. Uh -uh. There's somebody else. There's somebody else. And the fourth person. That's the one who will go with you. And the fourth person. That's the one that will never leave you, will never forsake you. And the fourth person is like unto the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar cried out. He had seen conquerors. I said he had seen conquerors. All the villages were going. All the towns were going. All the offices were going. The conquerors are coming. I said the conquerors are coming. Let all those evil people can't get out of the way. Across are coming. He said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the living God, come out. And they came out. They looked at them. They inspected them. They couldn't see any trace of fire on their body. And Jesus said, go, you can go back now. I'm waiting for you in heaven. I'll prepare a mansion for you. As I'll be with you here in the fire, I'll be with you, you'll be with me in my father's house. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. I will come again and take you unto myself so that where I am there you will be you are going to be there where are you there you will be I said there you will be I said there you will be are you going to be there 
you come you continue you conquer if you are the person i'm talking about stand up if you are the one you'll be there in my father's house are many mansions i go to prepare a place for you if you are going to be there you will conquer you have to come you have to continue and you have to conquer you promise the lord today i come today i come as i come i will never go back again i will continue with jesus i will continue with my savior i'll continue with my lord and the power to conquer the power to conquer the power to conquer the lord will give it to you you will conquer are you there if you are there let me hear you i said you will conquer it's about the nice closed you want to come out you want to come in you want to come up and you want to come now you're making up your mind you are taking the decision yes i want eternal life yes i want forgiveness yes i want that transformation yes i want that salvation i come i come i come i will not miss heaven i will not go to hell jesus is my savior i come wherever you are just raise up your hand and say yes lord i am here i am here i've been dealing that lean i've been taking i've not been taking the proper decision but now i make up my mind i come i come i come to jesus he is my savior he is my redeemer he is the one that forgives all sins i come come out of your sin come into the savior come out of darkness come into the light come out of that occultism and come into the clean power of the spirit of god tell the lord yes i come raise up those hands i'm praying for you as you come father in the name of jesus we thank you at this time we bless your name because whosoever comes to christ you will not cast away all these who are raising up their hands they come out out of sin out of evil out of all the juju and they now come to christ receive them in jesus name they come out of darkness they come out of the evil and they come to jesus lord and savior according to your promise receive them into your salvation receive them into your restoration receive them into redemption save them in jesus name lord i pray the joy of salvation will come to them now the peace of god will come into their hearts right now i pray lord that you confirm that salvation in their lives right now thank you because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray and everybody said praise the lord let the conquerors praise the lord don't you know you are conquerors you conquer satan you conquer sickness you conquer sin anything that has been against your life you are conquerors tonight in jesus name any remnant of the property of the devil remaining there will come out of your life any remnant of sickness remaining there tonight you conquer in jesus name if you are still blind 
when you hear the final amen you will see miracle there you'll open your eyes like this miracle sight if you are still lame or maybe you were touched before but you are still like uh, have I got it have I not got it something wonderful something good real strength will come to you tonight you are a conqueror in Jesus name any evil power any torment in your life any oppression in your life tonight 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 where is the person I'm talking about it will drive away every remnant of the property of the devil there when you hear the final amen you will check up you will see miracle on your body there are you ready father in the name of jesus lord we pray resurrection power to come upon your people wake them up raise them up everything that smells of death there i command you come out in jesus name all the powers of the devil all the oppression of sickness all those manifestations of demons i command you right there come out in jesus name lord i pray this will be the night of your power in their lives power of every anointing that breaks the yoke power of a mighty authority complete it accomplish it in their lives in jesus name that spirit of insanity i command you come out in jesus name spirit of epilepsy i command you there come out in jesus name all that swelling in your body all that pile in your body i command right now by the power of the holy ghost in the authority of the name of jesus come out in jesus name lord i pray for those who have eternal sickness all that pain in your body all that sickness inside you infirmity and weakness authority is coming now power is coming out be healed in jesus name lord that cancer will have to go that cancer will have to go i command you cancer be healed now in jesus name also no way you cannot remain there this sister is free this brother is free this child is free also i command you be healed in jesus name all that back ache i cannot bend i cannot stand all the waist pain all the arthritis all the joints that are cracking i sent forth power in your joints right now power in your backbone right now be healed in jesus name all the evil spirits trying to manipulate your thoughts manipulate your mind and bringing oppression upon your life you evil manipulating spirit when you hear the voice of authority you recognize i command you with that authority you don't have any right to remain there come out in jesus name i pray lord for those who have appendicitis or any other internal problem in your kidney in your livers those who are going for dialysis life to come into you resurrection life to come into you healing to come into you 
the signs and the wonders from Calvary to roll all those problems away in Jesus name those who are deaf and dumb I pray right now receive your hearing receive your speech you deafness and dumbness I command you come out in Jesus name Lord I pray for those who are blind whatever covers your eyesight whatever breaks that blindness whatever causes the dimness of sight I remove it right now be healed be healed be healed receive your sight in Jesus name those who are lame paralyzed Lord I pray power to come in their bodies right now raise them up I command you rise up and walk in Jesus name Lord I pray multiplied blessing multiplied miracles multiplied breakthrough every need of your people every desire of your people every ambition of your people every aspiration of your people this is a day to conquer every problem set them free set them free deliver them deliver them i pray oh lord every yoke is broken every cause is removed be loose and be liberated in jesus name everyone even those who think they don't need any miracle lord do something for them give something to everybody miracle here deliverance there healing there victory there the spirit of the conqueror the spirit of the conqueror give unto everyone in jesus name lord i pray the healing will be permanent miracle will be permanent deliverance will be permanent everything we have got this hour permanent 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 in jesus name now the shout of miracle everywhere shout of deliverance everywhere the joy of victory everywhere confirm it oh lord confirm it oh lord in everyone we thank you because we know it is not in jesus name we pray and everybody said you have got it i said you have got it check up yourself it is there Pray that it be God. Hallelujah. Eh, Oruko Mini, Joseph, Adewuyi, Oruoni Mojuwa, Alias Kila, Alias Kila, Ose Di Choma, Ni Bobo Rolori, Mi Ilo Shosh, Mi Ije, Mi Ije, Ni Di Ati Debe, Bet, Owa Di Ni, Ose Kansisi, now I ni amo luso agbare wa pe ni ni pe ki wa pe awo pe rimi ni ipago mo ni ni ibo mo ni ni lori ah mo le mi o lo o mo le mi o lo rara rara tori mi ma sha da mo ma so be politici bo ma se o da mi o tele yin o se ke je pe boya ma lo je kini kankan kan mo ni mi o tele won o tu wa ni bi akeji o wa di pi jo ti baba de gan on a qui m'a bon. On a qui m'a bon. Et vous avez un bâti qui m'a dit, je vais vous dire, je vais vous dire, je vais vous 
Mon papa t'a dit, Pray the Lord. Pray the Lord. Mon papa t'a dit, Parce que mon papa t'a Parce que quand je suis dit, Mon papa t'a dit, Il m'a dit, Mon papa t'a 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 dit, Pray the Lord. Pray the living God. My wife is here. Oh, my God. Go to the My mommy. So, my wife is here. 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 Mon ma fille est là. Pour la nana, mon dame, non. Prêt au lord. Ma tu vois, oh, quoi, ah. Bobo, quand tu m'en ouvres, oui. Oh, non, je t'ai dit. Fimis, sinon, il y a un lien. Voilà. Bobo, moi, à d'ailleurs, au goût du monde, l'autre, à 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 Ne nous joy leni, moti darako, moti dena lono, moto kato wa jeru mi oshema, moto pa, moto kato go, moto aduni injuri, amba ba wangu adua wani moto moto bandu ko fawasi be, ko fi azekini si be, moa fawasi be, ibeni, moto deblasta ma debini, ba tu moa dipe moto moto ezenye, moto dipe moto filele, ah, ishe ya nolu wapo, si ba baje. Mo wa dupa lowo Olorun mo tu dupa lowo Jesus Christ o ga ogo eh mo tu abe awon baba kan ma fi mi sinu adua Jesus mo tu gba mi lowo won mo laye laye eh mo tu dupa lowo baba e jo gbogbo awon wo lido atawa awon ojo to ba tu wa to wa je pe won wa ni irepo dun ni o mo ran oro ajase mo tu dupa lowo won na pe ki gbogbo mo ni adua fun mi ke de ma wa wo mi wo Pray the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord bless you. Lord bless you. The name of our brother is Joseph Ade Buyi. Amen. Alias Kila. Next from, one. From Buru. Formerly was formerly Kila. But now no longer Kila. Praise the Lord. It's now the child of God. A born again child of God. He was formerly a politician. He talked, but by the special grace of God, God had delivered him. He was invited to this place. At first, he didn't want to come, thinking that by the time he got here, people would be making jest of him. But he came here by the Spirit of God. And uh, when he was brought here, as he was listening to the message of our pastor, and as our pastor was praying, one spirit, the spirit of God, was telling him, you this man, why can't you renounce your evil ways? And by the special grace of God, he renounced all his evil ways, he gave his life to Jesus Christ, and uh, he had promised that all the shams that he had been using to kill, to molest people, to cause trouble, everything will be brought to the presence of the children of God, and it will be brought to Praise the Lord! Put your hand for to Jesus. Let's listen to the next that is fire. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise the living Jesus! Hallelujah! The Lord is good! My name is Daniel Mejida. I'm indigenous of Nasarawa State. So I brought my younger brother, Daniel Ayuba, to this program. So my parents live in Oyo State, but I got admission in Bartholome School of Health, Shao. So my, uh, my younger brother has a problem of Anya. So in the, in the first day, when this program for the fall started, so there's no any cause of alarm. The second day, there's no any uh, cause of alarm. And this third day, in the morning, so there's no any cause of alarm again. But now I couldn't see the Anya. The Anya has vanished away. Praise the Lord! Praise the living Jesus! Amen. Amen. 
One of the two of the Ogaloni, as a company, I know. But those who see me, they that. As we are talking about the money, we pay. They are shallow. Oh, you are more to win. Oh, I will go there too. Oh, you will go there. Okay, hallelujah. Hello, Mickey. Hallelujah. Ebani Jesu logo. Oruko mi ni Alpha Mumin lati ilu ibado. Eh ma ko ni kekere kan kekere ni. Tori pe mo se di unigbagbo ni. Ore ti baba se o ojo mi loju. Ore ti baba se o oya mi lenu. Baba o lore o ope lu ye ho. Amen. Hey man, in fact, but I will let you cook. Now, Coco, you. You live by life. Amen. Alpha. To my dear Muslim. By Lord, your fair. Timo Rigba. Lati adore Christy. Tony came up here, oh, Miss Hill. Tony Boris used your running move, Bolo to Lucy. Need Joa. Look at Osibara, like you as Hill. Yaore, Christian, or white Muslim. How better call Lay now? As I'm a room to a new and so on. Ah, more borrow, eh? Money motive go. Don't you pay your bazaar pay or more donor taking in of a bunch, eh? Money my book, we say. Timati dollar ya o mbae man ah nkan ya tun rinse mi pe nti won ni ko se se na o ma to ta pe si won ba won ba mi le yawo mi lo ni iru 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 nonsense won ni ma to wa mo en college yawo mi pe ah se n pe ni eh bible study ni jo monday e ma gba gbe service ni jo wednesday thursday ah won wa ya ma to pe won wa pe mi jo kan pe ah ma dia ko re sin ko ile yo Igbala lo se pataki ju. Tu wa ma wo ndu gbo gba pe igbala lo se pataki ju. E to mi se lebo mi se ni kokan. Mo ma ki ma se pe ya. Mo wa wo ranger kan pe. Baba baba wa ni no luwa tun kun yi mi o ri won lo juri bayi. Sugbon kan kan wa sele si mi to jo jo pipe. Eyin yi yo ma ro mi gbo gbo gba ni. Mo ti logun to po. Now. Mo wa gbo pe baba kun yi mbo wa si ilorin. Yes. Ma wo ko nbo si lo ni ma so pa tori ntun si mi yo ma lo si lo ni mo si ni gba wo pe nkan yi Baba tele mama yawo mi wa awa de bi ni jo tuesday baba wa gba adura mi no wa gba adura o di to se mi yen mo ni gba wo pe kini yen ti nkro die die nbo wa di eni mo wa ri pe mo wa relief gan mo ni bi apa yen Mule bend, mule ah, mule yes, all wash him. Ah, money now. Go see to come you could nipe. In you way way, any man. Go see to any kakale se ni nuwa attack bara wale kami. Oma ko oma go gun suban. Jesus I jah for me. Holy Lord God Jesus. Pray. Holy God. Money back bo. Moti moti bad Jesus. Allez là tu vois qu'à tu Jésus n'y a pas de à tu as l'oublé là. Amen. Praise the Lord. Eh, qu'est-ce que tu dis? Eh, ma bino. En 2011, tu m'as oublié au moins. C'est comme bon, mi. Tu m'as dit à bien au moins. 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 Ah, tu m'as dit à bien au moins. Ah, tu m'as dit à bien au moins. Ah, tu m'as dit à bien au moins. Eni atu sofa an pastor an church yi kongon ba a padu a jagun. Todi mo ning ba gwa ni padu a. Wa na wong padu a. Ngo wa di. Tokwe e mant. Toma yen tati bi yoma yen. Mune ou ara mi ou bimon. O beta ke ek bi yoma yen lo sodo. Gramba ni ilon ni. Kongon lo padu a jagun. A wani kilo de. Mone biti yor. Ti. Ik ba gbo miro mo ni yon. Todi mama ya wong mi kristen ni deeper life. Mba ni oka ek bo wu e ma lo. Et bien, mon fils a dû aller à Gombi, il ne pouvait pas venir, il ne pouvait pas venir. Ah Il m'a dit, parce que tu es un don. 
ti won fun ba ni ara omo yen tin ya o nigbati won ma pada de ibadan ah pelu anu ti arigba omo yen is that a big boy now amen ti e ba ri omo yen e le pe ni case eni mo amen o ti the big boy ni sin te pe koda bi soja gan lo ti ma move so the lord mo gba jesus gbo ni oluwa ti olugbala mi lati wa pa ti e ba mi gbe hallelujah amen his wife to drive the wife away but any moment she saw the wife instead of driving her away that spirit will be telling, don't drive this woman away she, you always see the glory of God upon that woman instead of driving her away you will be encouraging the woman go to church, go to Bible study go to revival hour but to cut the story short by the special grace of God now, he himself had given his life to Jesus Christ. He has believed. Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Not only believe, he has taken him as his Lord and uh, Savior. And when he did that, he had a problem, pain in, in, uh, in his back. And on this particular crusade ground, God took away that particular problem. He is now healthy by the special grace of God. And not only that, you know, God loved this man very well. Even before he gave his life to Jesus Christ, God performed miracle in the life of his son. When the boy was born, he said he was like lizard. But when he sent the boy to Elon here for prayer, they started praying. By the time the boy would be brought back, the boy had been completely okay. And the boy is like, is like a soldier now. The miracle will be permanent in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Oruko mi ni jeneti abayi omi lati ga odota. Odupe lowo Ọlọrun o ti pe ti aisan. Won ni awọ ka ni gbogbo ara mi bayi yo kan mo ro mi ni tese tese mi o lerin. Gba mi gan afi tin ba ni ka won omo mo ba mu kan ba. Sugbon ijeta ti mo ti wa mo wa ri yato. I get a new tell do the de duro, so go ya mo wabere sin di de duro, ara tin ro mi loru ti gbogbo ara o ma ro mi ti mi o lerin. Mo wa dupe lowo Ọlọrun pe gbogbo e ti lo e ba mi yin Oluwa logo. Praise the Lord. Our mommy is a Janet Abayomi. She was suffering from a rheumatism. No, it will be moving from one part of the body to the other could not sleep very well because of pain. But by the grace of God, the power of God touched the body. The rheumatism melted away. And uh, our mommy is okay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> 